Hello, my name's Alice and I'm here from Career Pilot, uh, here to uh, spend the next uh, hour or so with you um, on a session to help you to get ready for your future career and to think about your options and choices over the coming year. So what we're hoping that you will get from this session uh, is you'll know what to do, how to go about choosing your GCSEs and perhaps think about some of those things that perhaps you should avoid when choosing your um, options. Also, we want you to think about what different skills that you have uh, that you're building in school and outside of school, and also how the subjects that you choose over the next year can lead on to further courses and to jobs in the future. So the structure of the session is we're going to have about 15 minutes introduction. Then you're going to have an opportunity to work online, working together, perhaps in pairs or on your own, using Career Pilot to explore some of your options. And then we'll come back together to wrap up at the end. So we're going to start off by just uh, spending a couple of minutes looking at the pictures that you can see here. Look at the obviously there are four jobs that you can see. Have a think uh, with a partner. What subjects would be useful for these jobs? I'm going to ask your teacher just to pause the video here and to give you two minutes, please, just to have a think about what subjects would be useful for these jobs. OK, hopefully you've had a chance to have a think there. Um, and now just thinking about that, what sort, do you know what subjects you want to study? Have you had a chance to think about that? Um, I'm sure that you've got a few ideas. So uh, we're going to go on to have an explore of uh, how you make, might make some of those choices. OK, so in terms of what's important when selecting your options, the first thing you need to think about are um, what are those subjects that you have to do? Every school will have some compulsory subjects. Uh, you will always need to do your maths and your English, and there may well be some other subjects that are specific to your school that you do need to do. You may be thinking about what subjects you particularly enjoy. They might be um, some of those subjects that you might think about choosing for your GCSEs. Equally, some of those subjects that you know that you're really good at. You might want to think about subjects that, that you'd like to go on to study when you leave school as well. That might influence your choices. And also you might have an idea about a job that you want to do further down the line. And as we just saw uh, earlier, there are certain subjects that would lead into those jobs. So you might want to start thinking about that as well. We've got a video here uh, that shows a few things that you need to try to avoid when you're thinking about your options for next year. So I'm going to ask the teacher here to pause my video and to play this little video for you to watch and uh, we'll come back together again shortly. OK, so hopefully that gave you a bit of a feel for those kind of things that you need to try to avoid when you're choosing your options, because it's uh, very easy to get swayed by um, other people's opinions or who your teachers are, those kind of things. So do bear that in mind when making your choices. What we're going to do in this next session is actually use uh, the Career Pilot website to help us to find some information um, that will support us in making our choices. So the Career Pilot website will give you lots of different information about jobs you might be interested in, courses you're interested in going on to do, thinking about um, what different qualifications you would like to get. And there are lots of videos that you can look at as well to support that. We've got quizzes and tools that you could use as well to help with your options. And uh, as I say, you can also go on to have a look directly at different qualifications that you might be thinking about a bit further down the line as well that might influence your choices with your GCSEs. So this is it. This is where we're going to start exploring your future career. So it's quite exciting. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the Career Pilot website. Um, and we're going to, first of all, we're going to be uh, registering on the website if you're not already re registered to use it. I know a lot of people probably already have their registration uh, with their school email, so you will just need to log in if you're already registered. But if you haven't registered, then you will need to put in your details, first of all. And then you're going to be able to um, look at your different areas across the website and build up 
uh, different areas that you're interested in. So it's going to be an opportunity to gather together some of the uh, different job sectors and jobs that you're interested in, qualifications. You can start to build up your own personal profile that you can then go back and visit um, over the coming years. And that will all be held in your own personal report that you can see it's just showing there. So what we're going to do in this next session is we're going to register on Career Pilot. Then we're going to have a look um, uh, at starting with a subject. But before we do anything, it's all about registering and signing in. So that's the first step. So what you can do is you hit the top right hand corner of the screen um, for the Career Pilot website, you will see that there's an option to either sign in or register. Just there, you can see. So if you do need to register, it's quite straightforward. You just need to fill in some, some of your details, your name, date of birth and postcode, use your school email and then put in a memorable password that you're not going to forget. And do make sure that you pick the school that you're at from the drop down list to make sure that your account is attached to your school. So you can just go through and fill in those details and that will ensure that you're registered with Career Pilot. As I say, if you're already registered, you just need to sign in. OK, so just reminding you of the different areas that you need to fill in. Picking your uh, year group. OK, and then once you're into the site, you're going to have a look um, at starting with a subject. So you're going to click on the number one, start with you, and you're going to pick start with a subject. This is going to be an opportunity for you to pick a subject and see where it might lead you. So you're just clicking on there. You can pick any of your subjects you're particularly interested in. So if you're particularly interested in art, you can see the types of jobs that you could do that will in, that um, art could lead on to, just to give you some ideas. There's always the option to add any of these um, subjects into your personal profile. So I think that's that's worth doing. If you've got particular favorite subjects is make sure that you've clicked on that add this to my subjects. So it just starts to build up that picture of what's important to you. You can also spend some time looking at your choices at 13, 14, which is in the explore your options section, or you can click on the pathways and have a look at the GCSE pathways um, and get some more information on, on which ones to pick. So I'm going to give you 10 minutes now. So just to remind you of the different steps that we're going to do. First of all, you need to register or sign in. Then you're going to have a look on the start with you and you're going to begin by starting with a subject to see where it might lead, just to get a feel for the types of jobs that are out there that are linked to subjects that you really enjoy. And then if you have time in that 10 minutes, have a look on the number two, explore your options. You can have a look on the choices at 14 or you can explore your pathways if you want to have a look at the GCSE pathway to find more about your options. OK, so I'm going to ask the teacher to pause now and to set the timer for 10 minutes for you. Great. Hopefully uh, you've had a chance to explore, you've registered on the site, you've uh, looked at the different subjects and where that might lead. You may well have had a chance to explore your options at 14 as well. So we're going to have a look now at what skills that you have. This is really important because you need your skills as well as your qualifications to get a job in the future and you will be building these skills in lots of different ways through school so it's really good to just start to build an idea of where you're developing these skills and which skills you have so we have a skills profile quiz that we're going to ask you to do shortly so that's going to be on the website it's in my skills profile and it gives you an opportunity to think about the different uh, things that you're doing in school, but out school as, outside school as well to develop these skills. So as an example, if you've kept going with a hobby for several years or a sport out of, out of school, that will demonstrate that you've really got some great aiming high skills and the resilience to keep going uh, and staying positive skill as well, that you've been able to really stick at something even when it's been tricky. Uh, so there are some great skills that you can demonstrate to future employers further down the line. So we're going to ask you to fill out this uh, skills profile uh, and then it will give you a really nice kind of summary of the skills that you already have. And you can actually even have a look and uh, have a look for a job and see what type of skills they're looking for to see whether you're matching up to that. So 
I'm also going to ask you at the top if you have an opportunity to to add some activity. So if, for example, you do babysitting, that might demonstrate some um, skills in terms of um, uh, speaking and listening when you're working with the children. Um, so there'd be different skills that you demonstrate from different activities. So you can add activities to your bank of examples of where you're building these skills. Uh, or it might be that you were working with the local guides group and you've got to a certain level there and you're showing leadership skills. So make sure that you've added any examples that you're building outside of school as well as inside of school. And then you'll be able to refer back to those in the future. OK, so that's going to give you just a nice summary of the skills that you have. And then, as I say, you can compare those skills to particular jobs and see what kind of skills they're looking for and what skills that you have and you might want to build. So again, I'm going to give you 10 minutes to work on this. So you need to do the skills quiz, uh, add at least one activity to that skills profile. Uh, and you could have a look at, if you've got a chance to at the jobs and see how your skills compare. So I'm going to ask your teacher to pause the video now and set a timer for 10 minutes to have a go at the skills quiz. Great, I hope you found that a useful exercise and you've had a chance to explore your skills. We're now going to have an opportunity to think about uh, the different jobs that you're interested in in a bit more detail. So we're going to uh, be having a look at the job section of the Career Pilot website and adding some of those jobs into your, um, your profile so you can start building up some ideas of the different jobs that you're particularly interested in. So in the job section, which you can access either at the top where it says jobs or via explore your options, you'll come into the, the job section of the website. You can search for jobs in different ways. You can either search for a specific job by just typing it in and search. So if you, if you know you're interested in, for example, being a vet, you could just put in vet and search it up and it'll give you lots of information about that job. But equally, you could look at jobs by sector. You could look at jobs by starting the subject as we did earlier, so you might want to have a look at a different subject this time and see what jobs it leads to. Or you might have a look at um, your values and how that might lead in, onto a job. So if you care very deeply about um, climate change, for example, you could have a look and see what types of jobs there are that would uh, fit with those values that you hold. In terms of the job sectors, when you get into the job sectors, you'll see that they each break down into a further three sort of subsections. So you've got the job sector there of animal um, architecture, uh, architecture, agriculture and environment. Um, so you might want to focus on uh, animal in particular. Going into that section then, so you will see lots of different jobs that are related to working within the field of working with animals. So it should be a nice range that you can then explore in more detail. You'll be able to have a look at job profiles and see what those uh, jobs, what you might be earning in those jobs, what sort of hours you might work at, and the different routes into that job. So whether you can get into that job uh, via an apprenticeship or a traineeship or learning on the job or if you need a degree, those kind of bits of information you'll be able to find um, on the job profiles. OK, and don't forget uh, top right hand corner. Again, there's that op opportunity to add that to your job sectors. So you can start building up a bank of particular areas of interest for you. OK, so I'm going to give you 10 minutes again um, to do this. So again, you need to go to the explore your options or the job section and have a look through the job sector and start building up a bank of jobs that are of particular interest for you. OK, and it will it will remember that for next time. And when you come back into the, the website as you go through over the next few years, it's going to be quite interesting to see the different jobs that you've shown an interest in over the years. You can add to it, you can take jobs away, um, but it's all about building up that personal profile for yourself. OK, so I'm going to ask the teacher again to pause the video now and give you 10 minutes to work on your job sectors.
OK, so hopefully you've had a chance now to have a look at the different jobs that you might be interested in in the future. Uh, remembering that that generally people don't have one job for life. You might you might have several jobs in the future. So really keep your options open and just think about what are those areas that particularly interest you uh, and thinking about what are the things that you, you know that you would enjoy uh, in a job in the future. So we've as we've gone along today, you've been saving lots of different areas of interest for you. You've looked at your skills, you've looked at the different jobs that are of interest to you, you've, you've had a look at different subjects that are particular favourites for you, and you've been saving them as you go along. Just so you know, you can find a, a, a full report of uh, all of your areas of interest uh, when you go into the career tools section. Uh, if you click on the dashboard, the career tools section, and at the bottom you can see view your full report. So you can always come back to that and see, if, just keep a note of all of those jobs that you're particularly interested in. So this report will move up with you each year so you can come back to revisit it. So some top tips for moving forward and using Career Pilot to support you. Do try to remember your password. If, if you can't remember your password, you can get a, a password resent by clicking on that button when you try to log in and it'll send it to your email. But um, ideally just have a nice memorable password so you can keep coming back to it each time. Keep using Career Pilot and tagging and reviewing your choices. As I say, it's going to be really interesting to see how this builds over the coming years. So hopefully you'll be able to come back and use it um, throughout the next few years at school and beyond. It's there for you um, to use up until you're 21. So hopefully it'll be a really useful tool for you. So I hope you found today really useful and it's got you thinking about your options and what different subjects you might be choosing. Um, and I just want to wish you the best of luck for the coming year. Bye. <laughs>